Hello everyone, welcome to Bukis Kitchen. I hope you all are well. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to cook Nigerian chicken stew, which is sometimes called party stew. Okay, so to jump right in, I have the ingredients laid out on the table. So I have here one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of paprika, one tablespoon of aromat no seasoning and I've got some chicken no cubes or no chicken cubes so I also have here one tablespoon of curry and thyme I've got some chopped parsley I've got cloves of garlic I've got some red sliced onions. I've actually got two medium sized um, sliced onions. I've got tomato puree. And for the peppers, I have here um, four medium sized bell peppers, two um, scotch, on, scotch bonnets, and I've also got two medium sized red onions I've got some cooking oil and some clean broiler chicken I also have two cans of chopped tomatoes okay so I'm just going to go ahead and cook the broiler chicken um, just tipping all this into a pot and this will cook on a medium heat for about, about 30 minutes or until it is tender. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and season. Um, I have in there the curry, thyme, paprika, salt, um, aromat seasoning, some chicken nor cubes, crushed garlic, um, some sliced onions and some parsley. And that will be followed by some, I'll be adding some water into the mix as well, just to help um, to cook the the chicken and to prevent it from burning whilst it's cooking then i'll be giving that a very good stir i'll cover it cook for 30 minutes or until it's tender and well cooked Okay, so in order to make the um, the stew, that is the chicken stew, we need to blend the chopped tomatoes, the chopped peppers, onions, and the garlic, and blend all this together to a fine pulp, um, something that looks like um, a fine puree, um, and that is the kind of um, consistency that we need for our chicken stew. Okay, so the chicken has been cooking for about 30 minutes and it is cooked and nicely tender. Um, it is worth mentioning that broiler chicken is hard chicken, so it does take slightly longer to cook than um, soft or softer chicken. I just thought to throw that um, out there. Um, but having said that, broiler chicken is yummy, juicy, very delicious chicken, honestly. Um, so I'm going to go ahead now and scoop the chicken out of the broth. I'm going to set the chicken aside to cool before I then proceed to fry the chicken.
I usually like to recycle the oil that I used to fry the chicken and um, the way I do it is just to use a sieve to get rid of all the sediments or all the unwanted bits and then the clear oil is what I then use to cook the stew. That oil has packed layers of flavour and beautiful nice aroma but of course allow the oil to cool down before you recycle um, the oil. Um, so what I'm doing here is just um, sautéing or browning um, some of the sliced onions and that will be followed by the tomato puree. I like to fry that for a little bit before I then tip in the blended peppers. Um, once the blended peppers has been added to the oil, um, cover that, stir it properly, cover it and allow to cook maybe for about 10 minutes um, before you then add all the seasonings and the stock or chicken broth. So the stew has been cooking for about 15 minutes on a low to medium heat. I'm just going to give that a bit of a stir and then I'll be adding the, chick the fried chicken to the stew. I'm going to stir that all in, cover it for another 3 to 5 minutes to cook on a low heat. Afterwards, the Nigerian chicken stew is ready to be served.